Okay, hi there. Uh, welcome to another video. The concept of community or social or society surplus is explored and explained in this short micro video. So what is community surplus? This is a concept where we bring together uh, the economic welfare that accrues to both producers and consumers. So it's the sum of consumer and producer surplus at a given price and quantity in a particular market. We're going to focus on the diagrams in a second, but if you think about the equilibrium price in a free market, a market free of government intervention, uh, and a market also free of market failure, uh, when we reach the equilibrium, the level of consumer and producer surplus is maximised. This is also known as the point of allocative efficiency. And in the absence of any a change, a shift in, in perhaps the demand curve or the supply curve, there will be no other price and quantity combination that could increase community or social surplus. So when community surplus is maximised, as we'll see in a second, an optimal optimum allocation of scarce resources has been achieved. So how do we show community surplus in a diagram? Let's take a demand on the supply curve that both cut the y-axis. The equilibrium price is P1 and Q1. Quick reminder of two key concepts. First of all, consumer surplus. Well, that's the difference between the total amount that people, we as consumers, are willing and able to pay for something. That's indicated by the demand curve. The difference between that and the total amount we actually have to pay the market price. And producer surplus is, again, the difference between what producers are willing and able to sell a good for and the price they actually receive. The level of producer surplus is shown by the area above the supply curve, below the price. The level of consumer surplus is shown by the area underneath the demand curve and above the price. So at quantity P1, Q1, we can show the areas of consumer and producer surplus, two triangles. Well, let's put some labels on this. Consumer surplus is ABC. Producer surplus is BCD. So community or social surplus is the combined area <coughs> ADC. There it is. Now, this is an important welfare concept. We have to think about consumers and producers as two key stakeholders in any particular market or industry. Well, let's think about how we can uh, uh, affect the level of community surplus. Take, for example, a business that might develop some monopoly power in the market. And instead of selling Q1 at price P1, shown before, now they sell Q2 at a higher price. The price goes up to uh, goes up to F. So this could be a, an example of a monopoly producer deciding to utilise, exploit or harness their monopoly power to, to restrict output to Q2 and charge a higher price uh, of F. In this situation, consumer surplus goes down. It falls to the area AFE, the area beneath the demand curve and above the price. So there's been a squeeze of consumer surplus, but clearly the producer is now benefiting. They now have an area of producer surplus FEGD. So in this sense, the producer has gained at the expense of the consumer. But the total area of consumer community surplus, sorry, social surplus, is now area AEGD. Which means that if you're no longer at the free market equilibrium price, the market price is raised to F then there's going to be a, what's called a deadweight loss of community surplus equal to the area shown there by ECG. That's a loss of welfare, essentially because output's been restricted to Q2 and the price that we must pay has gone up to F. Well, community and social surplus is a concept you can and perhaps often should bring into any good analysis and evaluation essay or data response question. So, for example... How could you use this concept in exams? Perhaps showing the impact of a particular intervention by the government. It could be an indirect tax. It could be a, a producer subsidy. Think about the consequences for community surplus. Consider perhaps show the impact of innovation 
and higher productivity, which reduces cost and increases supply. Perhaps you might be thinking about how you could use a diagram to show that. What about the possible impact of monopoly or market power on prices and allocative efficiency and social outcomes in terms of equity, particularly those people on lower incomes who are forced to pay higher prices? So there we go. Hopefully this video has explored and explained for you the concept of community surplus. You'll be using diagrams when you use this idea. And uh, please do try to bring it into some of your analysis and evaluation. OK, thank you.